Adding numbers is simple. We know that 3 plus 2 is 5, for instance. Adding vectors is simple too, but does it work the same way as it does with scalar quantities? Remember, a scalar quantity is just a value with a magnitude, or size, but no direction. Unlike a vector quantity, which has both magnitude and direction. Let's say we have a vector, u, which has a magnitude of 3, and another vector, v, which has a magnitude of 2. Conventionally adding 3 plus 2 would give us the distance along the path formed by these two vectors. But distance is not a vector quantity, so we need another method. To add two vectors, you can follow two simple steps. First, you must arrange them in what is called tip-to-tail position. This means that the tip of the first vector must touch the tail of the second vector. Notice that when you pick up a vector and move it, the magnitude, or size, and direction of the vector do not change. Once you've aligned your two vectors from tip to tail, draw a vector from the tail of the first vector to the tip of the second. This is called the resultant vector and represents the vector sum of your two vectors, u plus v. So that's adding two vectors geometrically. But what about subtraction? Intuitively, you probably know that subtraction is really just adding a negative number. 3 minus 2? <laughs> That's really just 3 plus negative 2. We're going to apply the idea that subtraction is really just adding a negative to understand how to perform vector subtraction geometrically. The process is similar to the one we just looked at for addition of two vectors, with one additional step. We're going to start by taking the vector that is being subtracted, in this case v, and changing the direction of it. Remember, multiplying a vector by a negative changes its direction so if this vector v were heading due east, negative v now heads due west. The rest of the process is the same. We place our vectors tip to tail. We then draw the resultant vector from the tail of the first vector to the tip of the second. And that's really all there is to it. Geometric vector addition and subtraction made simple. If there are any other math concepts you'd like to see made simple, leave me a note in the comments and I'll be sure to check it out.